Hey yo bros, <laughs> it's your brother Paul from Handsome Virgin, the Handsome God. So I hope that you guys are doing really amazing bros. I'm currently recording in this room because my dad is sleeping in his room. And uh, my mom's in the kitchen, busy reading the Bible. I have a lot of questions about the Bible and about God. I do believe that we have a creator though. But let's stay on topic, okay? <laughs> I'm currently on NoFap day one. And last night I masturbated, so this is the this is starting again, starting at day one again. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I've been thinking about MGTOW this morning, okay? And I went like I went to my messages. I saw my one broski sent me a message. I didn't open it yet. Alexander from England, shout out to you, bro. I was just scrolling through my messages. Because I was busy with something. <clears throat> and I saw him say something about MGTOW. And when I went into the Monk Mode group, I also saw something, a bro make a post about MGTOW. And about chicks and stuff like that. So, here's the thing, bro. The broski, right? He said, much love to you, bro. This is the broski in the Monk Mode group. I can't remember his name. But he said something like, some girl said to him, yo, she, she likes him. And then later on, she said to him, yo, I love this other guy and we can't talk anymore. So then he said that he's happy that he's on MGTOW and he said that life is unpredictable, but you can make it predictable. So Broski, with that last line, like life is un quote unquote unpredictable, you can make it predictable. Oh, wow, I agree with you on that. And I wanted to type in something. I wanted to comment something. This is what I wanted to comment. And I'm just going to put it in the video for you guys. Maybe I'll share it with him. Actually, I am going to put this on Monk Mode, actually. So, yeah, bro, hopefully you'll see this and it'll help you. Bro, okay. Most women will click with you if you're high status, okay? Now, high status, it's a trainable skill. It's a skill that you can learn. It's a learnable skill, something you can gain. It's a way of life, okay? It's a way of seeing things. And it's got nothing to do with your possessions, okay? Nothing to do... With your, <laughs> I actually don't own this room, <laughs> but I will own an even better room in a big white mansion. It's got nothing to do with your possessions, your Lamborghini, your green Lamborghini, your red Ferrari. Okay, I'm going to have a red Ferrari too. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with what you own or your money in your bank account. It's got everything to do with how you see yourself, how you view yourself. What lenses, what glasses or spectacles do you see yourself through? And I'm not talking about physical glasses. I'm talking metaphorically. Okay, so if you're high status, okay, most women will click with you. If you understand how the universe works, if you understand how you work and a bit about how girls work, most women will fucking click with you. Most women will want to have sex with you. Most women will want to be with you. Okay, just like a woman uh, can make herself hot, a man can also make himself hot. Um, fortunately for us men, I'll tell you how to become high status near the end of this video, if I remember. If I remember. If I choose to remember. <laughs> so, just like a woman can, I don't know, put on a nice dress, go to the gym, squat, get a big butt, um, eat healthy, get clearer facial skin, um, get a nice hairdo, whatever the fuck, okay? Just like a woman can make herself more attractive to men. Men can make themselves more attractive to women. And here's the funny thing, bros. The outside helps. It helps a lot. Okay. But if you don't have the inside sorted out, then the outside is worth almost nothing. Okay. When you meet the person. So she can see you on a magazine posing there with your abs and your, oh, beautiful biceps. And your stunning face and jawline. But if she meets you and you're not high status or you don't have your God self personality or whatever the fuck. Okay. Then all that stuff flows down the drain, bro. And it's like worth pennies. Okay. Not even pennies. Okay. It's worth pigeon poop. Okay. But, <laughs> but if you're high status, when she meets you, she meets you, your voice mm, has that good posture. Your voice has that good posture. Your body language has that good posture. Okay. 
your view of yourself has that good posture, okay? When you think of yourself, you think of a, an amazing, legendary, Muhammad Ali reincarnated version that's just ready to box life. You just People try to place you in boxes. Now, fuck that. You do whatever the fuck you want, okay? You see yourself as an amazing person, okay? You love yourself. I um, don't want to get off topic and stay on topic. But um, when you love yourself, it's much easier to love others, okay? Much easier, okay? When you love yourself, you tend to love others. If you don't love others, you probably don't love yourself, okay? Um, so that belongs in the category of self-love. Um. <laughs> Stay on topic. <laughs> Paul. So, when she meets you and you've got this great view of yourself, your frame is strong, your mental frame, you've got this Picasso painting of yourself in your mind, what happens is, and that, that's what shapes your reality, okay? What happens is, she picks up on that, okay? And she realizes, yo, this guy is high status, subconsciously. She's not thinking this on a conscious level. Her instincts are telling her this, her womanly instincts, okay? She's like, yo, this guy is honest. This dude doesn't want anything from me. He's not trying to get into my pink Hello Kitty panties. He's actually sometimes pushing me away. He has standards that he sticks to, okay? He has a ruler that he measures the quality of woman worth. He's like, ah, to some girls. Other girls is like, okay, I'll give you permission. We can hang out. We can hang out. Just behave yourself around me, okay? Just behave yourself around me. Don't be throwing the pussy all over me, okay? Control yourself. Control. I know I'm sexy as fuck. But just control yourself, okay? He values himself. He values himself. You value yourself, okay? You are awesome as fuck, okay? You're awesome as fuck. I'm awesome as fuck, okay? So, how do you become higher status? Okay. Read the book, Higher Status by Jason Capital, okay? That will give you a, a decent cement foundation for you building the house of your status, okay? Give you a really decent foundation. And if you want to, like, lay the bricks, the orange bricks of the walls of your house and the side and the interior together, okay, watch his... His older videos, like, you can watch his newer videos, but his newer videos are about making money, okay? So, he's not talking about status so much in his newer videos, okay? Um, he is acting it out, or acting it out, living it out. But in his older videos, where he's got his sleeves rolled up like this, <laughs> I just love it, it's so fucking hilarious. He's got his sleeves rolled up like this, he's like, okay, now that we got that weird intro over, let's jump into the green beans and chicken soup or what? No, not chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> some chicken meal okay of the conversation okay and he he talks about all the stuff self-entertaining he'll teach you all that stuff okay now when you're learning these things he's teaching you pick up stuff but what i recommend you is not going to it with the the mindset of oh i'm gonna pick up chicks with this stuff yeah, you can if you want to but what i'm recommending to you is that when you look at it when you're watching that video on your screen your samsung glass screen Okay, <laughs> is that you look at it like, okay, this is teaching me how supply and demand works. This is teaching me the laws of the fucking universe. This is teaching me not only... <laughs> this microphone. Oh. Okay, Jenny, yeah, the, the weather is good here. It's all good in, in Paul's mansion's room, okay? It's really good here, Paul's mansion room. And the Ferrari is in the back. The, the sun is shining. <laughs> yeah okay he's <laughs> look at it as like yo i'm learning the secrets of the stars and the galaxies when i'm looking at the stuff okay i'm learning how people work how our psychology works okay how the mind the gears in the brain okay how this stuff works okay what you are learning the a bit of the meaning of life that's how i feel you're learning these puzzle pieces that you put together okay so yeah, you can practice them. Yeah, practice them, okay? Practice them. As you do it, it'll start to become a part of you, okay? Just like when you gym, okay? As you gym, your self-image slowly changes when you start surrounding yourself with guys who gym, okay? The same with when you start walking in the path of high-status men. When you start walking in the footsteps of legends, okay, that went before you. You walk in those footsteps, your feet start to become the shape of the footsteps. Why? Because they walked in rock and their, 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 their footsteps were so fucking epic that it made this mold and so your foot <laughs> your feet just change shape they morph okay 
<laughs> but on a serious note, you start becoming like them, okay? And that's going to increase your status, your status, whatever, okay? Being nonchalant, being polarizing, all that good stuff, okay? Um, so, MGTOW. MGTOW, in a way, it's good. It's good. Um, but there's something way better, okay? Way better. In a sense, when you're high status, you are going your own way. When you're high status, you are MGTOW in a sense, okay? But... You're just more relaxed. <laughs> you're more nonchalant. You're more, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't really matter. Life is amazing. I love life. Watermelon. Great. She wants my banana. Okay. That's normal. I don't give a fuck. Okay. You just enjoy life more. Okay. What else? Yeah. And yeah, bros. Much love to the Monk Mode community. Much love to the NoFap community. And my bros on YouTube. Okay? Much love to you. So, I'm getting back on the NoFap horse. Okay? And I'm on NoFap day one, as I said. So, what I'm doing now, I realize that, yo, I'm back to... um. <laughs> back to the jungle of nofap which means last year i conquered it i went for what three six three days and then <laughs> when i stopped then it was like it was okay 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 then i just let it go deeper and deeper and started watching porn again uh animation porn hentai porn and stuff like that fuck the tentacles though that stuff grosses me out dude i can't fucking stand that shit i can't stand that shit the adverts those porn adverts those things that they got the oh, oh, oh. anyway but it's okay People just fall so deep into the darkness of the sea of disgustingness that um, they just got caught up in there. And that's okay. I just pray with my hands together that you're happy one day, okay? That you become happy one day, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm going to get out of the whole hentai um, watching Chun-Li porn on my phone, okay? I'm going I'm to stop that shit. It's not good for my sleep, dude. It's not good for my um, waking up, having the REM sleep and stuff like that. It's not good for yours either. That blue light that, that shines into your iris at night, it's not fucking good for anyone. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, what I'm doing is this unapologetically free challenge, okay? And every day, I'm committing myself. I have committed myself <laughs> i've committed myself to every day posting one rap song a cappella or with a beat or whatever the fuck one rap song to my chat channel <laughs> i'm gonna say challenge to my channel every day okay and that's similar to what i did last year this thing that was inspired by a guy named dominic and what it was is every day oh, oh my sexiness oh my gosh every day you do something like one skill you work at it a bit each day and then you count it off on your calendar or you make a mark somewhere and you're like yo okay i didn't fap for this day and also i did my thing i did my um my hockey playing or my rugby playing or my rapping or my singing or my drawing or whatever you do okay so i'm gonna put like hashtag ufc no ufc hashtag one ufc hashtag two for each day okay for each thing and the mission is to get to 100. And when I get to 100, I want to go beyond that, Baba. But at the moment, the mission is to get to 100. Okay. Um, and no fap, the mission is to get to 100. After that, I want to go beyond that. Okay. So you just set these incremental goals for yourself. Okay, bros. Hope that you have an epic fucking day. Remember, higher status. It's not about your looks so much. Your looks help, okay? Your face helps like my beautiful face. I was born with this face. I also stayed healthy and didn't smoke and didn't drink. Um, I also ate really fucking healthy. I exercised, got beautiful jaws, washed my face. Okay, I looked after myself. I primped myself. But, yeah, you can do these things and make it. Most men are handsome. Most men are good looking as fuck. Most men. Chances are you're good looking and you just don't know it. That's, how, that's the truth. At, what, at one stage, I didn't know that I was handsome, okay? I only found out in high school, dude. I only fucking found out in high school. And um, that's, the, that's when I found out. Oh, I'm good looking? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that I'm adorable. I didn't know that I'm sexy as fuck. Okay. Um, and it's more about how you view yourself. It's more about how you see yourself. Okay. So you can primp yourself up. That's great. Do that stuff. 
for yourself, not for anyone else, for yourself. Do it and love yourself, okay? You're sexy as fuck, okay? More, more importantly, is your heart, your destiny, your purpose, and your standards, okay? And you follow that ish, okay? We're here together, okay? Every fucking step of the way. I'm gonna try and do this every single fucking day. I'm gonna keep myself committed to it, to do it every single fucking day on this 100 day challenge thing. Okay, bros, massive growth this year and into the next year. Peace, comment, and let's talk. Brrr.